here I am. It's the on campus kingpin. Yes, I am. Eagle Session Gail Saunders talking about free agency frenzy that's going on. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I've been away for a little minute. Uh, pretty busy with Roto World Draft. You should check out Roto World Draft. Lots of draft nuggets for all you draft freaks out there. But, um, Let's get down to business. Free agent frenzy is upon us. Uh, and let us start with LaShawn McCoy. Chip Kelly, what am I supposed to do with this kind of stuff? Um, you know, it's uh, obsolete now. Do I have to conflict of interest? Can't put it at my desk at work. Can't put it up here. Uh, that's why you stick with old school uh, Randall Cunningham. I mean, there's this... Stuff. I mean, what do you what do you do with stuff like this? I mean, I have this blown up, ridiculous McCoy. Uh, uh, what do, what do you do with that? Uh, I mean, I think you just gotta stay old school and keep it real. Uh, I mean, that's those these are the kind of things that Chip Kelly doesn't think about. Uh, obviously, you know, it, it's funny that. When I was out shopping for apparel, like every Eagle fan does every single year, you get geeked up to buy some gear. I'm thinking, uh, what jersey do I buy? Uh, what do I invest in? You know, Kendricks. I love Kendricks. I love the way he plays. I, I rock a Kendrick shirt, and I'm happy because I feel like this guy is going to stick around. I w went out and got a Darren Sproles jersey. I was excited. This guy is going to stick around for at least two or three years, I think. But honestly, I couldn't muster up enough strength to go get a LaShawn McCoy jersey. And you, you, you know, some people would, would, would call that weird. I mean, the guy was just dominating in stats, Eagle stats. Uh, you know, the leading rusher in the NFL just a couple years ago. Uh, I mean, you think that that's the kind of jersey that you buy, right? I had something in the back of my mind, and I'm going to read you something that I wrote. Uh, love birds to 24-7. Got to go there. That's, that's, that's the place to be. I'm going to read something that I wrote three months ago. Now, this is what I wrote. I, I will also... Uh, take a picture and post it so you can see it. Three months ago, I said, anybody else think the writing is on the wall for McCoy? For, for the money they're going to pay him next year, you don't pay a guy like that if he's continuously coming off the field uh, down by the goal line. I know I can't be the only one who feels comfortable having pokes or sprolls tote the rock down there or even outside the 20. I like McCoy for a discounted rate in 2015, but not sure he'd buy into that. Uh, who's in favor of McCoy getting bell cow, cow money next year is what I wrote. And that's crazy. I mean, that's that's three months ago. Uh, some of my friends are like, oh, you're crazy. You're lying, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, I wrote that three months ago. You could see it for yourself. Um, but that's how I felt. I felt like, you know, not me per se, but I felt like Chip, you know, in the Eagles front office looked at that situation like, are we going to pay him $12 million next year to do what he's doing? Probably not. If you're going to pay $12 million for a back, you're going to want him to do exactly what you want to do, and that's hit the hole hard, maybe punish some defenders. Uh, as much as we love the way that Shady comes out there, makes guys look silly, uh, jukes and, and you know breaks people's ankles, I mean, literally, um, you know, we could have a back that just goes straight up the field and gets that 20 yards and maybe gets tackled. I mean, you do, you do see Shady go east-west, run 40, 50 yards across the field just to get nine yards. It might look good on ESPN, but it might not be what Chip Kelly wants. Um, and, I mean, I'm telling you, I wouldn't be blowing up photos of McCoy uh, buying figurines just because... And I mean, McCoy is one a guy that I I really root for. Uh, that's my guy. But um, it's 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 just that for Chip Kelly, I, I could see him going in a different direction. Um, so 
it's just tough, man. Free agency frenzy is here, um, and you know, it's just it's just nuts right now. The last couple of days, I don't know, you know, I've been glued to the uh, radio, WIP, uh, ninety-seven point five, the Fanatic, uh, Twitter, you name it. I, I feel like I can't get a rest, uh, and tomorrow it's about to be upon us. Um, you know what's been going on, Mark Sanchez, uh, 5.5 million guaranteed, um, 16 million um, if he hits those incentives. That's kind of weird. Telling you something about um, Foles here. I don't know. Uh, Brandy Graham comes back, four-year deal. I believe it's 6.5 million averages out of season, 14 million guaranteed. Um, we get Frank Gore for maybe like um, one day in our, our in our memories. Um, he's having second thoughts, thinking about going to the Colts. Uh, that was a three-year, seven point five million dollar deal. Uh, we got Byron Maxwell, cornerback that you know was one of the top ones on the market. Um, Sixty-three million, six-year deal uh, comes out to about ten million a year, but. Um, it's just crazy. I mean, uh, Darrell Revis is going to be a uh, free agent again. That's someone who I would like to sign. Um, but and then Jeremy Macklin is not coming back. He's going to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, going back to Andy Reid. He grew up in Missouri about three hours away from the stadium is where he grew up from. Uh, they're going to pay him $11 million. The Eagles offered $9 million. Um, So... Obviously, the Eagles weren't going to pay $11 million for Jeremy Macklin, uh, which, it, which sucks, you know. I mean, just to, just to think, the Eagles are without Deshaun Jackson, LaShawn McCoy, and now Jeremy Macklin. Uh, it's kind of nuts. It really is. Uh, and, you know, there's, there's word out that the Eagles have interest in Michael Crabtree, um, you know, another guy. The, the, the possibly look at is maybe a Tory Smith, um, Andre Johnson. You know, I, I I would take any of those guys at this moment, um, but I do think you know maybe a Mike Wallace comes free, but I think you know you got to get a burner in this offense and you got to get a uh, you know uh, uh, to a point where Riley Cooper is not on the field uh, too much. I mean, it's just ridiculous that he's still on this roster. I know if they cut him. Uh, I think they they gotta pay him, but you know, like they, they basically save one million dollars if they cut him. So if he's your third receiver, I get it, but still, just to, just to, just to think about that. Riley Cooper, Mark Sanchez are still on this roster, but the other playmakers, um, I just said their names are gone. Fans out there, how are you guys feeling? I, I some of you guys gotta be sick to your stomach. Some of you guys might be on the chip chip we trust bandwagon. I'm just kind of like a wait and see guy. You gotta show me what else you know you're gonna do. Uh, I would love Devin McCourty, but uh, Devin McCourty's gonna sign with the Patriots. You know, free agent frenzy is upon us. Uh, Eagle fans out there, how do you guys uh, want to move forward? Do you want Chip Kelly to continue to be aggressive? Do you want him to chill, hit the chill button, and, and start uh, taking care of these veterans that are on this team? Um, but or you just just can you know play a bit by ear like I am. Um, but that's all for now. Eagle fans are geek 24/7, 365 days a year. Uh, it's my favorite time of the year. Free agency, draft season. Um, you can't get any better than this at this moment. I'm not sure who's going to be on this team tomorrow, or uh, it's just going to be you know breaking news after breaking news after breaking news. Hopefully you guys enjoy the free agent frenzy, and I will see you guys soon. Gail Saunders, Eagle Session, SkinnyPost.com, living the dream, not as in Dream Team 2.0, but living the dream.